Hello Scorpios. Happy, happy Friday or happy Saturday for your weekend. Um, coming in for uh, May 20th. So let's get into it Scorpio and see what's going on for you. And um, but thank you so much for supporting my channel and bringing you the uh, readings. And so let's see what's happening in our world right now and see what's going on. So into the spirits for Scorpio. Please show me the card, Scorpio. All right, two mutual energies here, Scorpio. There's a uh, death card there. You are, and the page of wands. Okay, so we're going to get the. Okay, let me get to my, the Queen of Pentacles and your Justice card. The Queen of Pentacles. Have the Hierophant in reverse, the Fool card, the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles are here. Okay, the Queen of Wands. So let's get into these two right now, and then we'll just look into our mutual energies going. And then you have the Moon, the Moon card on the in the reverse. Could be dealing here with the Pisces. So Scorpio, let's talk about these two and uh, the Death card and the Page of Wands. Here, these two energies right here are flowing together. It's something that you're into this new change of about who you are. This new transformation taking place. There's something about you that you're feeling is needing a change, or you ha are transforming already. So you are under, you are very aware that there's something in your yourself here that needs to change, and you're trying to take this leap. Um, not only with the full cards you're showing too, but you're seeing this page of one is there's some type of energy where you just feel this whole new relief. Um, just you can't wait for the future here of what the things will come to you. Whereas before you were stuck in the past where now you're having this whole new outlook about your life right now. And so with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Justice card, you're doing what is best for you. You're keeping everything on the level of, you know, I'm doing for me as the Queen of Pentacles. I'm focused on me. And I'm going to balance out my life here. So this whole part right here on the, you know, this first read, um, it looks like you're just very highly focused on yourself. And if you haven't gotten into that energy yet, you will be, okay? So you have, and this whole new change is coming about where um, you are feeling this new self about, it's like a pill, you know, you peel the old self of you is gone, right? But there's something here. You could have went through a divorce, some kind of breakup. The full card is all about taking a new adventure, taking a new chances, taking new life to a new beginning. So this is really good, looking good right now, Scorpio. Because everything is very positive here. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, again, it's about being create creativity, about using your self-awareness, about um, making that goals, meeting your dreams, you know, shining bright for yourself. And this is what I'm seeing right now, Scorpio. You're on this this whole nother level within yourself. And but there's still something here with the moon card. It's still showing up as a there's something you're still holding on to. There's still something that you are maybe not aware of, but also there's some things that you're keep hidden deep inside you. I think this is more of you. It could be dealing with the Pisces as always, but but I do feel like this energy is here is dealing with you. About um, you know, becoming the true you, your authentic self. About look at that. How perfect is that? Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, the nine of swords in a reverse. This is a beautiful reading, Scorpio. Everything is just like, you have really shedded the old you. Alright, so let's look at these two here, and then we're going to come back and clarify these. And just to kind of look at where it's taking you, okay? Alright, so you have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords in reverse. There's the energy here. You're all about your happiness here, and you're all about 
growing and glowing and you're you know you're just you're just knowing that you got this feeling of positivity inside yourself and you're you know before things were just so bad for you right there was this this situation where you went through this hard situation hard difficult but you had to process all that and things were just coming down on you and the, you know you had the shadow on top of you but now Scorpio you are really letting your light shine in between everything and so the two of swords um, and the four of cups now the two of swords you have came out of this entanglement situation from your past you have opened up yourself to new possibilities and that could be finances but really right now I'm just seeing more of a change about you and finding your own self, you know, coming back to who you are. And the four of cups, of course, that can mean like, um, you know, rejection type things. And you're you're starting to wonder, like, this rejection was God's protection, you know. This thing was, should have, this was meant to happen, Scorpio. So I don't want you to feel like this situation you went through was in vain. It was like for nothing or that kind of thing. This was sitting on a purpose, sitting you onto a new to new direction of your life here that you didn't know was going to come to you okay because this very this is a very positive read and i do feel like here um you know see the chair there's something here you're just moving on you're moving forward you're like you know i gotta do me everything's about you now it's not even any love relation here except for that divorce or breakup but it's very very I mean, it's all positive cards here. So let's look at this. Okay, so. Alright, so let's see what the center focus is here. And go into our center. Two of Pentacles. Wow, look at that. And Six of Wands. Wands here, and there's a devil card. Okay. Get the clarification for all that. Yeah. Oh wow! Look how perfect that is. All right. Definitely, this is coming out from this um, past breakup, divorce. You could have been dealing with some very toxic, you know, toxicity here, narcissistic energy. You have just heal, you know, that healing, either you're in that healing or you're done with the healing because everything here with the Two of Pentacles, you got tired of spinning your wheels with this energy right here with the devil. You know, somebody could have been assessed with you as well. But it's like the devil was um, taking a lot of your shine away from you, right? It's the, they, they sucked out your energy, that your bright light that you have inside you, okay? So, you know... You just need to know that, you know, you're healing through all this whole process. And because that you went through so much, the good things on this end of your life right here, not the end of your life, but this part right here is saying that you are on a good path, a good journey, a good adventure, a good, um, it's like an um, awakening, a soul awakening, okay? So that's what I have for you for on this read here. So let's see, and that could, and that could be from the people who are dealing with this certain type of issue of how you're feeling. So um, you know, just kind of be aware of that. Okay. So let's get into this reading. Um, what's for Scorpios? Okay. So that is something that you might be understanding right now about yourself. You you haven't came to that spiritual awakening or that that newness, that peeling off the old you. Um, getting back to, you know, who you really authentically are. And because you went through so much heartbreak, you got to stay the course, Scorpio, because good things will come to you, okay? Stay positive. All right, so let's see what's coming up in this energy here. Um, wow, some of you have got the Lover's Card, Page of Cups. There's somebody here that's wanting a future with you. Okay, and this is more of a love reading right here. Where the first one was about finances. Okay, could be. What is this about? And the pinnacles. 
Yeah, um, disconnecting with that past, that first read. Uh, someone was taking your shine, right? The Scorpio, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Oh, the Nine of, yeah, Nine of Swords again in reverse. Same situation. Uh, Pentacles, and this is, uh, whew, okay. Alright, so let's look at this here. You got the Ten of Cups. Alright, so on this one, Scorpio, um, the lover's card here could be dealing with Gemini. Two of Wands. There's a, there's a destination, destiny calling type situation where this is a soulmate energy. Um, and you really had to come to terms about following your intuition here. Okay? Following what direction you wanted to go in. And in that first read, you saw that this is all about you making better choices, making the right decisions for your life. And so this lover's card here is talking about choosing the direction you want to go in. Okay? Now, with that being said, uh, this Page of Cups is here and you, that you moved on from. There's somebody who is very immature that you had to kind of leave behind. You know, you had to walk away from because they were not um, able to give you what you deserved. And But the, I do see here with the Page of Cups here, they're, they're wanting to give you some type of offer of apology or some type of... Um, because they do look at you as somebody that was their soulmate and they see you making choices for you now and it's almost like a feeling of you put too much power into someone's hands and they took advantage of that and they you gave it's like things like you know you put all everything was on a convenience for them everything was on their time watch everything was about their feelings, their, their, what they wanted. And they didn't consider you here, Scorpio. They didn't give you what you deserved. And so for that, you know, the eight, they see you now, they see you walking away, or you have walked away, but they are looking at this like, I need to apologize. And I need to talk to Scorpio. But you have the Nine of Pentacles here. And, you know, you look back and you think about a lot of things that you had lost. You, and, you know, this is about independent, you know, taking care of yourself. Not just financially, but also doing well for yourself. And it looks like you may have lost a lot of money here. Or you could have lost yourself, your self-identity. And so with that magician card here is there. The universe is saying they're trying to... Um, bring all these tools back to your life to kind of bring you back to where you're at. And so, you can't worry about this anymore, right? You can't stress about this anymore. But there's somebody here with that Page of Cups, I feel like someone does not want you walking away. And this could have been you that you walked away, but you really didn't want to. But you knew you had to do what... It, it became too much, Right? And it's, it's um, the feeling of this Ten of Cups here. It's all about you you getting what you deserve. Okay, so let's see. We'll continue a little bit. Let's get a little bit more of the story. Yeah, it, this has led you down a dark path. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment card. Inverse. There you are. It became very complicated, right? It became a very hard situation what you couldn't decide on and there's the four cups again all right so kind of twisted turned here but the sun card about your unhappiness you lost a lot of a lot of about yourself here your independence and you really felt like this person was your soulmate this is a person that you was gonna have a future with and the eight of pentacles you know um this person could have been greedy, too, about them. Like I said, they're not considering you up here. But if something about you that they needed from, the suck from. And then you have the Judgment card and the Three of Cups in reverse. And here you weren't making a good decision, Scorpio. And there's something like where I feel like... um. Like I said, God's protection was, you know, God's 
protection is rejection, right? So there's that rejection. You do not want to feel that rejection from this person that you felt was your soulmate. You didn't want them rejecting you. But, Scorpio, you have to understand, this person... Please. It took a lot of energy from you. Yeah, you were the Empress here. But the Nine of Cups. Queen of Pentacles again. Well, that's not the Devil card. I hope not. Let me see what comes out. Show me the cards, please. Alright. And here's a, like an internal stressed out conflict things like that was bothering you a lot about the person you were dealing with. So Scorpio, you know, you have this Nine of Cups and the Empress here. It feels like, um, you know, they just, you, you know how much you're worth, right, Scorpio? You do know your self-worth. But they took so much energy from you, your happiness, your energy, your, 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 everything that makes you who you are. And that's why we saw the death card in the first reading. You're just becoming a new you. The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. There is, you're very heavily focused back on yourself about making your goals, meeting your dreams, you know, trying hard, being very perseverance in things. And you have the Nine of Wands that is, you lost some passion here about yourself, Scorpio. There's something about you you need to get, gain back. Because there's this conflict card right here showing you you're still dealing with some, some uh, unfinished business about something. Here, so let's see what that's about. There's, there's your ideas. I'll move these over just a little bit. So let's look at your ideas here. Ten of Cups again. Look at that. The higher front and the upright. That's the connecting cards for the, the King of Wands. Okay, so Scorpio on this read here it is. The first one is all about you making plans for yourself, doing better, changing your focus, doing better for yourself. This is about coming to a decision about this person. This could be a new person, but, um, you know, you got the higher front here. If somebody you divorced or somebody you broke up with is wanting to come back with you to make that commitment with the King of Wands, they still have a lot of passion for you. They, they really feel this energy that, and because the soulmate card is here. They have this idea they want to work with you to get back their life with you. Yeah, they're, they're seeing this energy where they want this Ten of Cups back with you. And you're the Queen of Pentacles, right? So they see that you're doing well with your home and or you're doing well in life and you're the Empress over here. The four, five of cups. Just one second, please. The five of cups connecting with the energies here. They feel like they have a chance back with you. Mm hmm. Whatever this is. Yeah, I told you, follow your intuition. So. This person here is going to try to make their way back, and they're trying to get back what they lost with you. And but I think you're on another. It's like you can't even think of the idea to even want to take this person back for all that they did to you. But the high priestess is here. Scorpio the Vice is here is to um, follow your intuition here, to follow your guidance of yourself, and be aware. Of what's going on okay so you know there's that I don't think you're gonna go for it because the ten of Pentacles is in reverse you're not you're, this commitment whatever you had with this soulmate person I think you're gonna have a like 
not just second thought, third thoughts, fourth thoughts. You're going to have fifth thoughts that, uh, you know, you put me through so much in the past and I lost myself and I don't even recognize who I was. And I went through such hardship and now you want, and after I'm straight myself out and I healed and I'm doing, I'm on a good way, a good road to recovery and doing well for myself. And now you want to come back and walk back in my life? They do, Scorpio. Okay. They have still some, and what I'm hearing is they feel like you're the person that they trust. You're the person that they messed up with. Um, they had a lot of regrets, and they and when they hear from you, it's like um, you make them feel brand new again. I don't know what that means, but but I don't see you here taking that off. And there's the moon card again. But the Ten of Pentacles, that Pisces card, Aquarius as well, could be doing some Leos, okay, some water signs here, but um, the Ten of Pentacles, I don't see you making a commitment. I think you know this is over and done with, water under the bridge, and you're like, you know, I don't want to deal with no more secrets and no more lies. I don't, I don't want to tolerate that again. And you're just focused on now to build in your life to the dreams that you want. And you feel like this person, if you take this person back, it's going to be the same old, same old BS again. And it probably will with the double card we saw before. So, Scorpio, this is going to be your reading. Hope this resonates for you. Don't forget to click that like button. Support me on my channel. Thank you so much for all your kindness. And uh, click subscribe if you want to receive more videos in the future from me. And thank you, Scorpio, so, so much for being there for me. Um, and supporting my channel. Okay. Thank you, Scorpio. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.